super nice to have you here. Welcome, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. So, this is our home. Yeah. Okay. And first fun fact is that we brought our own food straight from Italy, and we have our own kitchen here. So we we do have like pasta and everything for our clients, nice. expressively made on the booth for them to order, like yeah. in a real restaurant, because we are Italians, we love food. We love food. We love food. I love it as well. <laughs> <laughs> we love food. Um, so, I must say that you look like someone who likes strength and of course. that kind. So, we may start looking at those pieces and then we can go into something a little bit more nerd, more geek, more technological, if you want. Yes. Okay. Hello, Knut, nice to meet you too. And this is something like I would like you to feel. Hip thrust machine. Yes, but the, the material we use, the, the finisher we use, it's unique and it's pure leather and it's all handcrafted and manufactured in Italy, in Italy. where we have a 60,000 square meter factory where we assemble by hand all our equipment, okay. which is kind of unique and then another fun fact is that we use robots to test them so we put like 120 kilo person are you calling her a robot is that no, is that? <laughs> we use real people but we use even robots we put a robot that is made like a human being okay that uses the machine for 24 hours for 60 days straight to, to test, test all the parts nice. yes so this is how we test properly for oh. our products as you can see, the access is facilitated and everything is yellow. Everything is. If it's yellow, it means that it's a setup or it's an easy access for everyone, starting from the biggest person to maybe the leanest person. Yeah. And then these actually are two new ones. Okay, I, I have tested a lot of, uh, of these machines and the issue is always the belt. Okay. Because so they're so painful to use when you're putting away. Why don't away. you try on? I can try this if you want to. Let me you see. Try yeah. Come on. I tried everything. You can hold this. You oh, can talk yeah. to them yeah. if you want to as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So they, they, tell, they are telling me that there are a lot of people connected. So I hope they won't be too. Like I hope, I hope they will be kind with me because those I'm not, nice I'm not, guys. <laughs> I'm you not they used to this kind of stuff. <laughs> Twitch chat is nice to everyone except me. <laughs> I'm a little bit stressed about. It. Okay. You can talk to them and read if you want. <laughs> Come on, Vero. Yes. Okay, show us something. This is a deadlift. Let's say my favorite thing about this is that you can use it both as a deadlift and with different handles and you can even add the rowing movement or you can use it as a split squat. So depending on how you use it. Now Vero is doing a simple deadlift. Romanian. But, yeah. That's, that's it. But if she turns around and she puts a foot in, Oh, those are nice. And what I like is that it's compact. Yeah. And you can do a lot of different exercises. You can stimulate, you can stimulate the basically the whole leg if you think. You could even it. elevate the foot exactly, if you wanted to, exactly. uh, to go deeper. If you want to target smaller muscles, if you want to target the ground gluteus, if you want to yeah. target the femur, the femurs. I mean, you can the hamstrings. Yeah. Can do everything yeah I'm, right. i haven't seen exactly this before so what you're the trainer yes of course you're the trainer you're the trainer yes so what do you think about the technique in the machine behind there this the, machine no the one i used was the, the technique approved very good the yes. technique. you have a good back position and uh, so you have less injuries because of uh, if you have the um, uh, bar, on bar, your, bar yeah. on there uh, you have um, back pain also, for example, yeah. and so you have a really good technique and can uh, do the squats in a really good position. Yeah, that's good. Plus, if you do the regular squats, yes. okay, 
but then here you can do the low, let's say replicate the low bar technique of yeah. the squat without the technicalities that are involved because learning the low bar squat my biggest be... issue with doing bar squats is I can't get my arm up there. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I get uh, I even exactly. got shoulder pain from uh, holding a big squat bar. And so <laughs> that's and depending on how close, yeah, or how fast you place yourself, then you can even decide to inch more yeah. or to squat more, depend on what you like what to target. Yeah, yeah, what you want to target. Would you like to see something? We need to see more. Technological more, maybe? We can look at technological okay. stuff. Let's go to the like more advanced stuff because yeah. we this is our like heritage. The first, the first ever thing. equipment was an axe squat. Yeah. Okay. Another fun fact: we have the original axe squat, the one that our president Nerio Lesani built in 1982, more or less 83. Yeah. But that serial number is the number two. Serial number two. Because the number one was bought by a gym in Cesena and the owner doesn't want to sell it back to and, us. And that's in Italy. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, all right. So, as I said, we have our heritage, so we really work, we really work with strength and bodybuilding and all this kind of training style but then here we are in a very much more technological environment this line is totally driven by let's say a motor by a bio drive which is a motor that replicates many different instead resist- of using the straight up weights yeah exactly and it replicates isotonic resistance it replicates no inertia it replicates eccentric elastic viscous even what is that? Viscous, it means, imagine that you are moving a weight in the air. You receive a certain resistance from the air. If you move the same weight underwater, yeah. okay. it changes, right? Because the resistance of the water has an impact of your on your speed of movement. And yeah. then imagine to repeat the same movement in, the, in honey, right? Even more resistance. Even more resistance. So why do on the leg press so I can show you uh, uh, actually you show <laughs> why because these pieces of equipment are made to automatically adjust on your body measures okay. so you do the, t- the test the first time and then the equipment automatically recreates the perfect assessment to have you in okay so and actually we, you can connect via bluetooth via any kind of device or the technology bend so you simply go closer and then you're in then it's uh, setting up when you're ready to start it's, set, it's setting up on its own through the motor that he has inside the bio drive and then when you're ready to start you can start for a program or you can start from a test if you want to try you want to try to test I can try it after come on Oh, sorry, it's in German. <laughs> jump in. Should I jump in? Yes. Yeah. You can uh... leave me this. There you go. Yes, sorry. Yeah. All right. When you are ready, yeah. you take the test. I will need the help with translation here. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, what do you need? Uh, so we can do the ROM. I guess, or we can do the isometric. Yes, isometric. Same. Isometric, would you like? Yeah. What do you say? Okay. And now gives you the perfect range. You do the full rep. Uh, should I go down? Yeah, yeah. You do the your ideal full rep. And then down again. So ideally you can stop whenever you are comfortable to. Okay. But it doesn't have any resistance to push down. No, because that it's just to calculate the perfect range of motion because we are doing tests. Or we can do here we can try all the different resistances. For example, the viscous, this one. This is a preset program because it's his. Okay. Yeah. So 
here you can set the amount of resistance, the viscous resistance you want. Yeah. Now I will put me down and uh... and then up. And the more you push, the more resistance you receive. Yeah. Try another couple of reps. <laughs> wow! Wow! Whoa! Stop the resisting. Over voltage. Exactly. <laughs> Too strong. <laughs> okay. Would you like to try something else? I can try something else. Okay. No. <laughs> I hope people are laughing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are saying things I cannot say out loud, or maybe I can. No, it's not broke. I can, I can confirm you guys it's not broken. It can happen because we use this kind of products for NFL athletes, yes. basketball athletes, rugby players. So don't worry, guys, it's not broken. I broke their machine. <laughs> well, it, was, it said uh, the, they were leg press. It just said uh, overload voltage because it was, but it could push harder and it could give more resistance. Yeah, yeah. And I tried to like push. It's like an isometric. Type of thing. Yeah, and the machine just. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. They need a clued version. They need a clued version. But they said that they had tried it on uh, American football players and a lot as well. But I'm probably I don't know. So what the hell do you do on Twitch? You should be a competitive athlete somehow. Yeah, strong legs. <laughs> so how's going the visit so far? It's good. Very interesting. We should have had a day extra, is my conclusion. Minimum. Yes, minimum one day extra. Because it's a lot to see and like different things like... We have been focusing mostly on equipment, yes. but you also have technology side and those kind of things. Maybe like, doesn't fit the macros. <laughs> Why don't we eat whatever? <laughs> yeah. You saw that how fat. <laughs> I, I tried a different machine just one month ago, and that said 11.5 percent, and this like, one said 18. Like the was chasing you all around, so yeah. I didn't want to make you try every single piece of equipment we have. No. Because, you know, when you go into a boutique of a very high-end, like, you choose watches or cars or whatever, you don't need to try every single piece of equipment to know that that's the best. Well, that's true. true. You don't need to stay there half a day. You do you? You just, yes. you just know. When you know, you know. Just you try it on and you know. But that's the thing it. about the body analysis, like, I've been testing this three competitors the same day and they are so different than the results like yeah. I think one showed me like 6.6% body fat and another one I think showed me like maybe 18 or something and that's like three times so uh, the accuracy is it's uh, very hard to nail I think for the analysis yeah 100%. You need to do DEXA scan. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the most uh, accurate, I think. Or you can even do uh, where you get lowered into water, which is yeah. the... Correct. On that, I must say that it really depends, one, from the, the device. Because there are many devices that are very influenced, very influenced by the water level you have in your body. And it, it, especially the bioimpedantiometry device are really, as you know, are really influenced by the amount of water you have in your body. So it depends. It can be even due to the moment of the day you did it. Because if you repeat the test three times in the same day, it can change a lot. Especially in a day like this, yeah. where you stay, you, you stay are you are standing a lot of hours and I've got uh, sugar no thank you oh, thanks. we just had a liter of uh, fluid before we went out <laughs> maybe that affected it um. I, 